badass behind this drone We wanted to throw an epic, spectacular party for Kenny Park Saga and its 10th anniversary. And we thought, why not take the game from the smallest screen to the largest screen on the planet? Uh, how has Candy Crush evolved over the last 10 years? So over the last 10 years, we've been investing a lot in improving the game and the experience. We are at now more than 12,000 levels. We have loads of people at work every day analyzing the player journey and experience so that we can and keep providing new news, optimization, but also innovation for the game. So it, it's evolved from a visual perspective, from a player journey perspective, um, how we welcome and onboard you, how we offer you uh, the ability to evolve in the saga map. So yeah, it's, it's a live game. What can people expect at this Candy Crush at the 10th anniversary event? So we're here in Battery Park, New York City, one of the most amazing cities in the world. And uh, at 6.30 p.m. we open to the public. It's a free event, 18 plus. At 7.45 we're going to have a drone show, so it's going to be fantastic. And there are games, there's live entertainment, you can hear the DJ in the back. We have some food and beverage, and the idea is that people can have fun, and that we really bring to life the mission of making the world more playful. How difficult has it been to put on an event at this scale in New York? Drones over a place like New York can't have been easy to plan. Not easy at all. There are hundreds of people involved. We work very closely with the government bodies and all the authorities, including the FAA, to make sure that we could do it safely, responsibly, but also that it would be enjoyable and fun. So you have music, you have playing, you have AR experiences, you have the drone. So you can imagine it's a lot of work, but it's worth it because the players deserve it. What can people expect to happen during the drone space? So the drones uh, are going to tell a little bit of a story we're going to you know make a point of it's 10 uh, it's 10 years so we're going to use the 10th anniversary logo i don't know if you noticed but we did a bit of a trick with the hearts in candy crush so that's going to be on the sky and of course the color bomb is going to make an appearance and yeah it'll be 10 minutes of sheer entertainment why have you chosen new york for this I mean, New York City has one of the most recognizable skylines in the world, and we thought, might as well add one more thing using the backdrop, and I mean, it is it is a lighthouse city. Things that happen here, happen here again, you know, picked up by everybody, and it is exciting. So we thought, you know, it, it is a good, good stage for the most phenomenal game, and in this moment that is fantastic, the 10th anniversary. What's next for Candy Crush? We are going to continue to optimize and innovate in the game. Um, the 14th is the actual birthday. On the 14th, there's a couple of new features that are coming. So we're revamping the Saga map. There's new music, new audio coming. And uh, from now until the 14th, we're going to have rewards in game every day to continue to delight the players. We think that what brought us here is that is the fact that we continue to serve our players with new stuff all the time and that we make the game the best it can be. We're going to continue at that because it's proven successful and we believe that we can serve with much more innovation. One of the things we did recently actually was we had the first time an artist released their new hit song inside a game, Megan Trainer. It just happened a couple weeks ago. So things like that should be happening more frequently in the game. We're allowing ourselves to learn from the players how might we delight them even further. And that's what we want to do moving forward.